In this video, we will cover how to file 1099s through the Atrix Wizard. The Atrix Wizard is available for those with CH300 2022 product update 4 or newer. To start, let's go to Accounts Payable, AP Vendor Reports, 1099 Filing. Next, select from the Form Types dropdown one of the three forms available. For our example, we will use 1099 and EC. Enter the tax year and select your vendor range or you may leave the fields as they show on the screen to include all vendors. In the payer information box, confirm all address details this is populating from common services company profile, but can be overwritten if necessary. Populate the tax number. And click process. After clicking process, the Atrix 1099 wizard will load. In the initial screen, select one of the three options available. You may click on the third option to start processing 1099s and 1096s, unless you want to do a test drive. Click Next. You will need to confirm the payer's TIN number and select whether it's an EIN or a Social Security number. Click Next. Also, you will need to select whether you will be filing 1099s with the same federal ID and form type for multiple data files. Confirm one more time your paying information that was pulled from the initial configuration screen and be sure to enter a valid email address as this field is validated and required. Click Next. Select which type of filer you are. I will select I am filing for my company and employer. Review any additional state and local tax items that have been configured under Common Services Tax Services. You may also add any missing Hats information and click Next. Confirm whether or not any of your vendors have chosen to receive 1099 forms electronically. Click Next. Also confirm how Atrix ship mask your recipient's identification number on their copies. I will leave all of the settings based on the defaults. The next screen will be your 1099 preparer. With this screen, you will need to review specific fields and Atrix again will walk you through all of those. Look for fields highlighted in blue for corrections. The very first step, it's verify recipient taxpayer identification number. And I see my fields highlighted in blue. And I am missing a character, so I will enter the missing number. Click Next. And we will follow the wizard. Verify check if FEIN is checked. We will check that box and click Next one more time. Next, we need to verify our recipient's name. 
these fields can be edited to add more information. So I'm going to enter the recipient's last name. first name and you also want to make sure that you remove any special characters such as periods from the recipient's full name. Click next. Confirm all of the recipient's address details. Click next. Confirm the information in the box amounts. Click Next, confirm the filing state, click Next, and verify any amounts in the state filing box. Once you've confirmed all of your recipient details and you click next for the last time, you will be taken to this prompt. You have the option to sign up for HRS's filing services. Click next. If you click on complete 1099 e-filing service, HRS will step in and do all of the filing on your behalf. Otherwise, you may click on other options and check the bots for pre-recipient 1099 copies. Remove any check boxes with e-file to avoid any uh, additional fees. Click next. The next screen will be our print preview. The first page will be your recipient's 1099s. Go ahead and click Print Final. And the system will prompt you to insert your four-part perforated 1099 per paper purchased. Click OK. And the next step will be to select your printer and click OK. After you have printed your first page, you will click Next. To print the 1099 NEC instructions to include with the 1099 form. After this has been printed, you will click Next. and exit out of your 1099 and Atrix Wizard.